ever feel like um, you're kind of caught between two worlds, like leaving one life behind and chasing something new but can't stop looking back? Yeah. Well, that that feeling, that's what this deep dive is all about. Yeah. We're diving into Entre Tierras, this powerful painting by Patrick McGrath Muniz. Okay. And it's all about migration memory and the human experience. Yeah, what's so fascinating about Entre Tierras to me is how it captures that universal feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, Muniz, he drew inspiration from his own move from Puerto Rico to the United States. Right. But the themes they resonate way beyond just one person's story. Absolutely. It's like he's woven together this visual tapestry of hopes and anxieties, traditions and technology, and somehow packed it all onto this one ship. And, and get this, this painting is actually the final piece in Muniz's exhibition called Reminiscencia Reminiscence, which is all about memory. And especially this thing called the reminiscence bump. The what? The reminiscence bump. It's basically this tendency for people to have their clearest memories from late adolescence and early adulthood. Oh, interesting. Which is so often when you're making big life transitions. Like Let's... moving to a new country. Exactly. Wow. It's no wonder Mooney's chose Entre Tierras as the final yeah. piece. It's like yeah. this huge explosion of personal and collective memory all packed into one canvas. Right. So let's step onto this metaphorical ship and, and see where it takes us. Let's do it. So describe this painting for us. What are we looking at? Okay, so the painting itself is an oil on canvas, mm -hmm. and it depicts a vessel, a ship, sailing from this really vibrant green landscape toward this stark industrial city. Okay, so not just any boat, right? It's packed with all these people and animals all crammed in together. Exactly. It's like Muniz is highlighting that journey, that shared experience of all living things, you know, that drive to survive, to migrate, to find a better life. It's true. And it makes you think about how migration isn't just a human thing. It's right. like this deeply ingrained part of nature. Absolutely. So let's talk about those passengers. Okay. There's this woman and a baby, almost like a, a high priestess kind of figure. Yes. Right there on the deck. Yeah. Her presence is really interesting because on one hand, she represents hope, maternal guidance, mm -hmm. maybe even leading the way toward this new life. Right. But then there's also this feeling of uncertainty, of being afraid of what's to come. I see that. Which I think anyone who's ever had to start over can relate to. Totally. And speaking of new beginnings, there's a baby. Yeah. But not just any baby he's got wings on and a tiny Hermes helmet, uh, but oh. then he's holding a Game Boy. It's such an interesting contrast, the ancient and the modern. I know, right? Hermes, the messenger god, all about travel and change. Yeah. And then you have this early 90s gaming console. It makes you think about how technology, even back then, was already changing our world, how yeah. we connect with each other, even how we migrate. Right. It's like this little bundle of contradictions that perfectly captures how we feel about technology even today. This weird mix of hope and worry. And then Muniz adds another layer of symbolism with this rooster sitting on the bow of the ship. About to let out its morning call. Yeah, exactly. So a rooster usually symbolizes a fresh start, a new day. Right. But there's also this feeling of uncertainty, almost a warning in that image, too. Like, be careful what you wish for. Yes. Like, is this new world actually ready for them? Will it bring opportunity or danger? Especially when you compare the rooster to where they're headed. Exactly. They're leaving this lush green paradise. Right, and heading toward this sprawling industrial cityscape. Did he say where that city's supposed to be? He actually said it's uh, based on Houston. Houston. A city known for its economic opportunities, but also its complicated relationship with the environment. Oh, wow. So right away, Muniz is showing us this tension between the desire for progress and what we risk losing because of it. It makes you think, what are we willing to give up for a better life? Yeah. And who really benefits in the end? That's a good question. And as we look closer at the city itself, those questions become even more unsettling. Really? Yeah. One of the things that really struck me is how Muniz put these like unexpected figures in this city. Like what? Well, there are these mermaids, for example, but they aren't the you know, nice, helpful creatures you usually think of. Yeah, they're not exactly offering words of wisdom, are they? It's more like, welcome, here's your supersized soda and fries. Yeah, exactly. It's like this powerful statement about how tempting consumerism is. Right. Like how it promises instant happiness, but then there's this hidden cost. Mm. And he really gets that point across with the the oil barrel and plastic bottle right there in the image. Oh yeah, definitely. It's like he's saying, hey, this fancy new life, it's not all sunshine and roses. Right. And it's not even just about the pollution. Yeah. There's this gigantic fish 
practically jumping out of the water right next to a Coke bottle. That image is so striking. I think it really speaks to how we turn nature into just another product to be bought and sold. That's true. Even something as massive as the ocean isn't safe. Right. Makes you wonder about the sustainability of it all. Definitely. Makes you think about the true cost of what we call progress. Yeah. Like Minis is making us look beyond the surface to see the long-term consequences of what we're doing. Absolutely. Both as individuals and as a society. But then right in the middle of all this darkness, there's this little glimmer of hope. You mean the rescue? Yeah. It's kind of hidden, but it's such a powerful image. It is. This kid being pulled from the water by an indigenous man, and this black and white dog is reaching out to help. Yeah, it's such a contrast to the consumerism happening right next to it. Exactly. Like, even when things seem overwhelming, human compassion is still there. Right. That need to help each other, to be there for someone in need, yeah. it goes beyond culture and social pressure. Absolutely. It's this little beacon of hope in all the chaos. It reminds us that we're not alone in this. But the journey is tough. It is. Just look at the faces of the people watching the rescue. Each one tells a story. Yeah, they do. You've got a Muslim woman and her expression, it reminds me of that Titian painting, The Mater Dolorosa. Oh, wow. It's like this reminder of all the pain and displacement people have gone through throughout history. It's like each person represents the strength of the human spirit, but yeah. also how dangerous it is to be displaced, to risk everything for a better life. And the risks are even more clear when you notice what's written on the boat. Fata Morgana. Which is like a mirage. Right, something that looks real but isn't. Exactly, like a trick of the light that can lead sailors off course or even to their deaths. And to drive that point home, Muniz adds another L to the word. Turns it into fatal. Wow, talk about a reality check. <laughs> it's like he's saying, this journey, this chase for something new, it's not a game, it can have serious consequences. Right. But even with that warning, there's still this sense of determination, you know, maybe even defiance. I see that, especially when you look at that couple standing near the inscription. Oh yeah. The man seems almost naively optimistic, while the woman next to him looks really worried. It's true. It's like we all have that internal struggle between hope and fear when we face the unknown. Exactly. And then a, is that indigenous woman holding a skull? That image is haunting, Yeah. but so powerful at the same time. It really is. It makes you think about the weight of history the ancestors who were lost, the traditions left behind in search of something new. Right. It's a reminder that progress isn't free. And sometimes the people who pay the price are the ones who can least afford it. It's like she's seen it all before, the cycle of people being forced from their homes and trying to rebuild. And she carries the burden of the past as the ship sails toward an uncertain future. And she's not alone, is she? What about those 13 black birds following the ship? Those are grackles. 13, a number often tied to big change and transformation. They're like these little messengers of change. Exactly. Yeah. Like a constant reminder that nothing ever stays the same. Wow. Mimi has really thought of everything. He did. And you know those grackles? They're found in both Puerto Rico and Houston. So they know the way these grackles? Maybe they're, they're even guiding the passengers. Interesting thought. It makes you think about how connected everything is. Yeah. How even when we talked about these huge human journeys, we're still part of something much bigger. And Muniz really emphasizes that. He does. Look at that green land they're leaving behind. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is. It's so lush and vibrant. It's almost glowing. You said he based the city on Houston, right? What about this land? Is it based on a real place, too? It is. It's actually modeled after the farmland where Muniz grew up in Puerto Rico. Wow. So he's literally put his own story, his own experience of leaving one place for another into this huge symbolic painting. He has. And there's that mermaid again, the one with the rainbow. But this time it feels kind of unsettling. It's the octopus tentacles. Yeah, breaking up from the water, almost touching the indigenous woman with the skull. And right there next to it, another plastic water bottle. It's like he's mixing up myth and reality, the natural world and the impact of what we're doing to it. Exactly. He's showing us how even our oldest stories are changing because of our relationship with the environment, with consumerism, with the choices we make in the name of progress. And that pig swimming next to the boat trying to keep up. It's heartbreaking, really. It makes you think about all the things we forget about in our rush for something new, something better. And it makes you wonder if it was worth it. That feeling of what if. Yeah. It, it really connects with that theme of looking back and asking ourselves, could I have done things differently? Some heavy stuff. Yeah. But wow, what an incredible way to explore those questions. Right. This painting is so rich and visually powerful. It really is. And it's not just the images themselves. 
even the frame around the painting plays a part. How so? Well, there are these nautical symbols across the top, and then at the bottom there are nods to information technology. Oh, wow. It's like Muniz is saying that this journey, this struggle to find our place in a world that's constantly changing, it's not just ancient history. Yeah. It's happening right now in the digital age. It's both timeless and incredibly relevant today. So as you navigate your own path, whatever that may be, remember entre tiers and ask yourself, what am I willing to sacrifice? What am I bringing with me and what am I leaving behind?